Hey, what's going on y'all? It's your boy Kyle Summers, your bro therapist. And this video is gonna be about them Astros and how you, as an Astros fan, can deal with all this shit going on with the cheating scandal. When it first happened, I noticed my initial reaction was denial. Well, yeah, I mean, of course they didn't cheat. People are just hating on them because they're so good. And then it turned into, well, they might be cheating, but so is everyone else, so leave them the hell alone. And my my thoughts and my emotions would kind of ping pong back and forth depending on whatever article I read or video I watched or new source of information or whatever, or I'd be fixated on Mike Fires, that fucking rat. <laughs> and it dawned on me that I was grieving. I was truly just kind of in a way grieving the Astros. Not that I'm losing my team or uh, any particular player, but I was grieving the loss of an idea, a feeling that I had about that 2017 team. That feel-good team with a bunch of likable people and that awesome you know, World Series trophy that we got. Long time coming for Houston, as anyone knows that's a Houston sports fan. We don't get very many of them. And I felt like someone was trying to take it from me. And so I was responding in a way of denial and anger. And that's grieving. Like you truly grieve when something like that changes. <clears throat> and as I kind of sat with it more and, and more and just kind of looking at different things and different things that are happening within the, the investigation it got to a point where the realization is they cheated. Like there's there's definitive proof that they cheated. Now whether or not other teams cheated is is irrelevant. The the truth of the matter is no matter what happens from here forward even if they find other teams to be cheating and they have evidence of that chances are they're not going to come down on them like the Astros because the more teams that the commissioner finds was doing this, the more credibility the MLB loses as a whole. So it's in the MLB's interest to make it about the Astros and not about the Red Sox, not about the Yankees, not about the Dodgers or any other team. Punish them, set an example, scare the other teams to go ahead and stop now so that way they can preserve the image of the MLB because money talks and they don't want to lose money because people are turned off by the MLB so go ahead and recognize and accept that it ain't even if they find something it's not going to be the same as for the Astros and it was a punch in the gut losing both the coach and the GM and what this means down the road especially when you factor in lost draft picks it, it, it could suck like our team could take a turn for the worse and that really sucks it really sucks. But here's the thing, and here's how your boy is coping with this all. And it's about recognizing that the, the experiences I had in 2017, they can't take from me. Regardless of what's happened now, I truly experienced those those games, those all those home runs in Game 5 of the World Series, the Game 2 of the World Series with the comeback, the the pitching performances by Verlander and everyone else, like I experienced that. And it's kind of like when you watch a movie for the first time and it was just a fantastic, awesome movie. Perhaps it, you know, changed your thought process or it was just really entertaining. It won't feel the same every time you watch it after that. It's going to feel different, but there's still going to be that sense of of nostalgia with it and that's what we have like they can't literally take that from us no matter what's changed after the fact like I watched Blair Witch back in the day um, the Blair Witch Project in theaters and I thought that shit was real like I thought it was real that freaked me the fuck out come to find out it was all fake and staged and so I learned of their of their lies and their deceit afterwards but I still had that experience initially and no matter what happened afterwards, I still have that experience locked in there. And so just embrace the suck. Embrace the hate. Let the Astros be the villains and the bad guys. And just learn to find a way to accept that as you work your way through your grieving. And get to a place to where you can accept the way things are. Anyhow, have yourself a great day. 
Go Astros. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.